story you first heard right here on 7 Action News. A fire truck, a nearly new fire truck, burns inside a fire station in Plymouth. 7 Action News reporter Nima Shafe joins us now live from the scene with the very latest. Nima, nice hustle you guys got out there first. But the question I have for you, should residents in that area be concerned they just lost the fire truck, right? Not at all, uh, Malcolm. In fact, that was already a part of their strategic plan this morning. And speaking with Paul Sincock, the city manager for the city of Plymouth, they've already worked on that in a mutual aid agreement with Plymouth Township as well as the city of Northville. This is the fire truck behind me. That is uh, where some of the firefighters are standing around trying to determine the losses here. They're going to have to cut their losses when it comes to this fire truck. This happening around 4 a.m. this morning when two police officers inside City Hall smelled smoke, decided to investigate what it was, where it was coming from. From, found out it was coming here. Fast forward to what's going on right now. Joining me now to talk about what's going on right now is Paul Sincock, the city manager with the city of Plymouth. You've been keeping us updated all morning long and our viewers too. Take us what's going on. Take us through what's going on rather right now. Well, right now we're trying to uh, secure the building. Uh, we have the Michigan State Police Fire Investigation Unit is on scene. Uh, they've uh, started their investigation and we're uh, in the process of uh, moving uh, all of the salvageable equipment and supplies and everything out of this facility and uh, we'll be moving into a, uh, um, an unused uh, fire station in Plymouth Township uh, while we make repairs uh, to this facility. Fire service in the city of Plymouth, not affected. We have uh, plenty of equipment, plenty of uh, manpower, and, uh, and we will be uh, doing automatic mutual aid now with uh, Plymouth Township on uh, fire runs in either the township or in the city. Well executed. Talk about this uh, operation right now. You have the companies here boarding up the what remains of this firehouse. Fire causing some stress fractures, actually causing some building damage. What's next for the city of Plymouth? Well, uh, obviously we want to make sure that we investigate the fire thoroughly and uh, and then obviously we want to get this facility opened back up as quickly as possible. We'll obviously be working with our insurance carrier and uh, uh, with a, a wide variety of contractors to uh, make this happen as quickly as possible. But again, fire service uh, is not affected here in the city of Plymouth. Paul Sincock joining us live on 7 Action News this morning. You saw him first on 7 Action News, keeping you updated all morning long. We'll probably check in with him around 9 o'clock as well. That is the very latest from the city of Plymouth. I'm Nima Shafe for 7 Action News.